by sickness? Haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icarat, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances, Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part, where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? You want me to question you? Don't you want to? Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? What if it had? Where do you think we'd be now? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I wouldn't have... Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. Can you hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! Fuck. The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. You're trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. You're no fucking medical miracle, James. I've been in this department for half a century. It'd be a whole century if you counted all that overtime. All that off-the-books overtime? Bet the committee would love to get a of that. Oh, damn you, Kara. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? 
So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every tested commission out there. Fuck yes! <laughs> uh, I owe you, Chief. Goddamn sick leave had me climbing the walls. Not another word or I'll change my mind. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. Shit, didn't he? And I have such good stats up to now. Crap. Yeah, I'm fucking thrilled to be working with you, too. Uh, what can I say? Your reputation precedes you, especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. Well, I don't remember much about the accident. People tell me it was kind of a spectacle. You don't remember? So, what, you haven't synchronized yet? Sink like a fucking Swiss watch, okay? <laughs> Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Okay, I'm back. You're my best friend, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Listen, he's a good cop. Just keep an eye on him, okay? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. Used to be rooftop bars in the city. Yeah, until they figured out open spaces make desynchronization symptoms worse. Oh, bullshit. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? Tell me something, James. Do you know the feeling after you've spent time in a wide open space when you go back to your capsule apartment on the ground floor? Uh, I don't live in a capsule apartment. No, you fucking don't. So maybe stop talking out of your ass. City, doesn't she? Sorry? Well, the one from the body auction ad? I haven't seen it. How could you not see it? It's on every goddamn corner. I warn you, though. I am not saving anybody from Denver. I got principles. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how they make such awful food. Anybody who works there deserves whatever happens to them. James? The post office? Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? This is the last place they play good old-fashioned crime stories. <laughs> yeah? You like watching how the cops used to do it? Detectives, not cops. Big difference. I'll take your word for it. Okay, movie buff. Go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3.
focusing on the symptoms, the memories. I'm 120 years old, and I don't have any strength left to keep recalling the past. James Cara, 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116-739. Thanks. 
116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> This job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society, of which I always had a low opinion. Maybe because it consisted mostly of low people. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate.
James, camera. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last last? Mm-hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. What do they need protection for? Replacing a whole body just because somebody gouged out your eye is... unprofitable, I guess? Not for him. Huh. Didn't they have wings? Horses? No, pegasi. Um, Sarah, that's a horse. Pegasi are mythical creatures. <laughs> Some paleontologist you are. These days, horses are mythical too? No, mythical animals are fictional. They never existed. Whereas horses are extinct, like dinosaurs. <laughs> of course. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. Hey, you asked for it. James, end of topic. Let's move on. And here he scores a few points. Points? For what? This engine could push a car up past 120 miles per hour, running on gasoline on the ground. You know, it's hard enough to imagine driving on the ground and all, but 120? <laughs> no, I call bullshit on that one. Damn, he really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still gonna need a photo for identification. Has a fragrance museum in his home? Aromatherapy helps with synchronization. Aromatherapy? Sure. Pity we're all rolling around in sewage. <gasps> James, is that chocolate? That's what it says here. Can I, um. Oh, can I ask you to do something for me? <laughs> what? You want me to steal evidence? No. I mean, yes. Listen, could you. <sighs> could you describe the scent to me? Kind of like... There's something uh, mushroomy about it, but I don't know if that's good. Is chocolate supposed to smell like mushrooms? Tell you what, why don't you try describing it in a way that doesn't sound gross? I'll give it a shot. Like a cigar, only without any shitty chemical aftertaste. Okay, um, let's try this another way. Uh, does it make you feel something when you smell it? Emotions? James, anything. You think it's edible? Glossing right over the emotion talk. Okay, look, that sample's probably over a hundred years old. Food spoiled in the past. It could make you really sick. I smell it, the more I want to eat it. So, a growing mushroom, right? Um, a non-crappy cigar, and you want to eat it. Exactly. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Let's get back to work. It looks like a door. It must be opened remotely. Maybe I can find something with X-ray.
See how much good he's done? He helps children. Orphans, supposedly. Uh, we can't know for certain. I mean, maybe he really did help them? Oh, sure. He helped them all sign up for the first body subscriptions. That they could never afford. He was there. That's his signature. And look what happened to him. To live like gods. He was clearly trying to get rid of those. Didn't make it. Or someone stopped him. So, he's interested in art. Doesn't seem to be too much he's not interested in. I wonder if he hung women like that under his tree too. Some enjoy that. Green's signature. Did he paint this? He's had some time to learn. got remarried. What happened to the first wife? Refused Icarite. Died a natural death. But wasn't that illegal? She would have had a top-down warrant served, right? Green only introduced that legislation after her death. Hang on. Are you telling me Green couldn't handle it that his wife died, and he fucked up our whole fucking society because of it? <laughs> far as I can tell, people's bullshit personal trauma is always what fucks up society. Invented Icarite? They knew each other? Older than Icarite? How fucked up is that? Dying in the process of transplanting your own invention. His body rejected it, right? Guess he drew the short straw. That's not what I heard. I heard it was human error during the procedure. And what the fuck is this? A bike. Or rather, a wheel off a bike. And people rode on it? 
Oh. Like a motorcycle. But you had to push those things around and around with your feet to make it go. Ouch. It's scary how little we know about the world before the Icarite. No wonder they don't teach this in school. Someone with the president? Hmm. I recognize him. That's bullshit. Which does not change the fact that even before inventing the Icarite, he was a big shot in politics. doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Mm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. And you won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icarite, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction. It's green, pull it right and let's go. The Icarite's melted. So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah, he's dead. What? Like... You mean final death? Dead? Well, just... I, I mean, fix it. Just reconstruct it or something. Just do... Sarah, listen. I've seen this before. Up close. Take a few deep breaths. Then we'll start looking for who did it. We have to report this. We have to. Anything beyond that? It, it's... I'm... I'm sorry. Sarah, relax. You're not doing anything. Got it? You're not even here. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Omega Code 112358. Suspected murder. 